Did you know that a magical thing about laughter is that it can be induced? Yeah, gasp. It is possible to go from a false start, an inauthentic thing, to an authentic finish. And this is not just theory, we're gonna practice it. So in a moment, we are going to laugh together. At first, it will be manufactured. You will watch me manufacture it, you will manufacture it, you might even feel silly. You will look silly, and my guess is by the end of it, we will all be laughing together. We will be making a joyful noise together. So, get yourself in a laughing position. Choir, you're in this too. Ready? joyful noise that was. Thank you for being silly together and laughing. I carry the grief of the world in a joyful body. What should I do? I carry the grief of the world in a joyful body. What should I do? This powerful question, this opening line of poetry from the poet Jim Lenfesty lays bare a tension that we so often feel in our lives. How do we hold joy and grief at the same time? How do we laugh and cry? How do we make a joyful noise amidst a cacophony of hurt. What does it mean to laugh while still holding the pain of the world? I carry the grief of the world in a joyful body. What should I do? A few weeks ago, on a Monday evening in early November, Plymouth's Theater 45 Degrees, one of Plymouth's programs had its final evening of performance. And we produced a spoken word event called Rise of the Voices. And our friend Pierre Fulford, who is an amazing poetic voice himself, you will hear in a moment, he curated it. He was joined by poets, poets Sienna Johnson, Elizabeth Bratton, and Abraham Westland. It was a profound evening of meaning making through words, through mu music, through rhythm. And so as I was thinking about this particular sermon on this Thanksgiving holiday weekend, before we begin all of that Advent stuff, I am grateful for the opportunity to invite the brilliant Abraham and Pierre to join us this morning. Please let us Join our hands together and welcome Pierre and Abraham to the piano and the microphone.
When's the day that we'll be free? Cause I can't sit here in the silence Just knowing these chains are holding me But if you just hold on, we can touch the sky We can change the world one day at a time Don't you dare give up, don't you dare give in I can see your eyes are shining Oh, 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 I'm shining Right now, I bet you my nephew is laughing. His name is Jojo. There's a moment I'm thinking about, though, Jojo. We're at grandma's house. My grandma, his great grandma, praise God for grandmas who are great. And he's laughing. I come downstairs to meet my brother, his dad. We're going off to run a birthday clinic at his job. Basketball, soccer, pizza, cheese, pizza. So Jojo got to stay with grandma. <laughs> great grandma. Grandmas are great. And he's laughing. He's all over the place, but Jojo is still laughing. Don't touch that. Jojo's laughing. Boy, put that down. Auntie's voice. Aunties are great too. And Jojo's laughing. We're going outside now. Jojo's laughing. We're going back inside now. Jojo's laughing. Hey, here goes some toys. Jojo's laughing. All right, it's time for you to take a nap. Jojo's laughing. His dad and I come back about three hours later. Jojo's laughing. His dad is holding him in his arms now, saying goodbye to grandma. Great grandma. Grandmas are great. Aunties are too. And can't forget about uncles. They're okay. <laughs> and Jojo is laughing. He, his dad, puts Jojo down. He's holding him by the hand. They're walking down the stone pathway. And Jojo's laughing. He says, say bye to Uncle P, Jojo. And Jojo says, bye, Uncle her. And he's laughing. My brother has a bright yellow charger and Jojo is in the back seat as they drive away. He's laughing. The author Kurt Vonnegut once said, laughter and tears are both responses to frustration and exhaustion. I myself prefer to laugh since there is less cleaning to do afterward. Laughter, that external expression of happiness and joy, is good for you. And not just mentally or emotionally, but physically as well. In the short term, laughter enhances your intake of oxygen-rich air. It stimulates your heart, your lungs, and your muscles. It increases the endorphins that are released by your brain. Laughter activates and relieves your stress response. It can both increase and then decrease your heart rate and your blood pressure. It can soothe tension by stimulating circulation and aiding muscle relaxation. And that's just in the short term. In the long term, laughter can improve your immune system. Negative thoughts manifest into chemical reactions that can affect your body by bringing more stress into your system and decreasing your immunity. Laughter instead actually releases neuropeptides that help fight stress and potentially more life-threatening illnesses. Laughter can relieve pain by causing the body to produce its own natural painkillers. 
Laughter is a connector with others. We just experienced that. It reduces feelings of loneliness. And we have an epidemic of loneliness in our society. On Friday morning, my family and I went to the art museum and we were standing in a gallery full of very difficult photographs, serious photography, pain and historical trauma, and my nephew starts to giggle. And he giggles, and he giggles. And next thing you know, people are smiling. People are still receiving the difficult images, but they're chuckling along. There's a popcorning of chuckling, all because a child giggled. Laughter can help lessen your stress, your depression, your anxiety, and it might just make you feel happier. It can also improve your self-esteem, and yet, and yet, and yet, all the pressures in our lives the events that surround us near and far, the greed, the violence, the apathy that can permeate. They all push us away from expressions of joy, as if joy is somehow equated with ignorance, as if laughter is somehow the same thing as not caring. Jojo. He's such a happy child. And it's so beautiful. Out of all the things that are going on in the world, to see a child laugh. No, 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 no. You don't get it. It's so beautiful. While we're so caught up with the explosions going off in minds, our minds have become a landfill of minds, anxiety, boom. Stress, boom. Shame, boom. Depression, boom. Even our triggers are triggered, boom. All the while there's a vessel on earth laughing. He's laughing for every reason imaginable. He makes a mistake and he laughs. He does something great and he laughs. He falls and he laughs. He makes a mess and he laughs. He eats and he laughs. He sleeps and he laughs, he has his toys, and he laughs. He gets scared, and he laughs. He gets in trouble, and then he laughs. I love it when he gets in trouble, and he laughs. Like all bombs now disarmed, because he has to nerve not to let you get on his. Like he's in trouble, but it doesn't trouble him. For us adults, that's so troublesome, and he laughs. Like, you can't get him to care. He's a child. He's not supposed to care. He's just laughing. Laughter can be spiritual practice. No, laughter is spiritual practice. Not only is it good for your body and your mind, it is balm for your soul. Laughter is soul work. When laughter is not used at someone's expense, it can be a way to stitch ourselves closer to the abundant, ceaseless, and ever-present love of God. The psalmist sings in Psalm 100, Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. That didn't sound right. Yeah, everything sounds better when you play under it, Abraham. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship God with gladness. Come into God's presence with singing. Know that God is. It is God that made us and we are God's. We are the people and the sheep of the pasture. Enter these gates with thanksgiving and the courts with praise. Give thanks to God, bless God's name, for God is good. Steadfast love endures forever and faithfulness to all generations. To laugh, 
to make a joyful noise is a gift to ourselves and a gift to God. To laugh, to express joy, is a countercultural act that reminds us that even in difficult, complicated, and unanticipated moments, that God is good and joy can be found. Thank you, Jojo, for reminding us we need to laugh. <laughs> laugh through the tears, laugh through the pain, laugh through the divorce, laugh through the never mind, here to stay. Laugh through the gulf, laugh through the bridge, laugh through the reception, laugh through the disconnecting, laugh through the goodbye now, laugh through the hi now, laugh through the do I know you, complete stranger, maybe another day, but for now I can say I love you on good faith, laugh through it all. Thank you, Jojo, for reminding us to laugh. You are a splitting image of your dad, a benevolent reflector of your mom. You hail from a house full of joy and love, and you can't help it. My brother is a father, your father, and you laugh just like him while making mess in playpen. I remember mother cleaning everything while he was laughing. Prophecy. While making mess that holy parent will eventually clean up, don't forget to laugh. Our father, like mother, cleaning brother's playpen wants you to laugh. I don't know. So I can only assume once upon a time your laugh was as free as JoJo's. Until that moment, and consequently many more after, but that initial was the criminal that stole such an incredible gift, your laugh. Well, here's prophecy from a vessel age only three. Those criminals will eventually face justice, but right now your holy parent wants your face to laugh. Mind, a mind field of mind, so explosive, bombs with no alarms, palms can't carry, gave up trying to disarm and still, holy parent wants you to face them all and laugh. Face the anxiety and laugh, face the stress and laugh, face the shame and laugh, face depression and laugh, face your triggered triggers and laugh. It's okay. Even if you're not okay, it's going to be okay. Holy family picture fractured. See how one son crucifixed via joyful lenses. Holy family picture fractured. See how one son crucifixed via joyful lenses. Yes, in present the playpens of our souls a mess, but take lesson from joyful adolescent. You can laugh because holy parent doesn't leave us alone in it. It's okay. Even if you're not okay, it's going to be okay. You can laugh. So face it and laugh and see what happens. I saw Jojo the other day in passing, auntie's house, Thanksgiving dinner, late arrival, where's the food, in the fridge, wash your hands first. Adulting can be tragic. And still, JoJo's laughing. Children lying in the street. Parents crying at their feet. It's crazy how this world is changing. And will this violence ever cease? But if you just hold on, we touch the sky we can change the world one day at a time don't you dare give up don't you dare give in i can see your eyes are shining oh 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 i'm shining
and the thinkers and the dreamers can sit around waiting for change. I will rise up with the courage. I'm telling you things gonna change. In this day and age, we are not raised to be hopeful, but hopeless. If you have too much of a voice, they will try to expose you and shut you down and call what you say lies. But I want everybody in this room to know that we are the future and we will pray for change and we will laugh. The poet says, I carry the grief of the world in a joyful body. What should I do? The psalmist replies, you make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship God with gladness. Come into God's presence with singing. Know that God is. It is God that made us, and we are God's. The poet says, it's okay. Even if you're not okay, it's gonna be okay. You can laugh, so face it and laugh. And the singer replies, But if you just hold on, we can touch the sky. We can change the world one day at a time. Don't you dare give up, don't you dare give in. I can see your light is shining. You, we, are the shining light. You, we, are the hands, the feet, and the voices of God in the world. You, we, are allowed to laugh and make joy because it is God's gift to us and it is gift back to God. To laugh is not to be unserious, to laugh is to stand in the face of the grief of the world, seeing it clearly and choosing to make a joyful noise. To laugh is to choose joy along with grief. To laugh is to hope. To laugh is an act of resistance and love. And may we all learn from our little friend Jojo and keep laughing. May it be so.